Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show about great products from small companies. Now today we're going to take a look at some gaming mats from Cigarbox. Um, these are fabric gaming mats, which are quite popular, um, I found actually, in the historical wargaming community and come in a variety of styles. Uh, so these ones, Cigarbox Battle, um, are uh, two styles, one of which I think is already on the website, one might be in the future. I couldn't find it on there. Uh, but it's called Lost Temple, and the other one which I couldn't find yet is called Farmland, I think. It's a farmland mat, anyway. <laughs> uh, but Lost Temple, we'll show you first. Um, they come in a cool, oversized, I would say like six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So they do overhang your table a little bit um, and don't like, uh, they, they, they actually hold on quite nicely that way. They kind of like lip over the edge um, and cover your table completely. Great for conventions and stuff. And they're single-sided printed on fabric. Uh, if you get cold also, you could wrap yourself up in them and stay warm because they're basically a blanket. <laughs> so let's take a look at uh, the first one, which is Lost Temple right now. So here's the first one, Lost Temple. I, I, I Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna link to the website and I'm sure the guys will, <laughs> will correct me if I get the names wrong. Uh, on the second one. This one I'm, I'm pretty sure is on the site already called Lost Temple. Um, and you can see I've thrown some train down from Arm Studios just to give you sort of an idea of what it looks like scale-wise with some models on it uh, and some of my Age of Sigmar stuff. So wonderfully colored. Um, it's very vibrant. It's printed on a white fabric. So the colors really pop when um, when they're actually like imprinted on. And yeah, great details. You can see here's some like grassy meadow, some sort of like, it's almost like a highland kind of like texture to it. Uh, and I've thrown down Again, some ruins to just sort of augment the ruiny bits. A big patch of like old cobbles where like the temple used to be. Should fit any ruins for like Age of Sigmar or any of the Gale Force 9 stuff um, or all your, your 3D printed stuff like this stuff from RM. Uh, and yeah, it's nice and smooth. So you can see if you want to use this for historicals and slide movement trays across it, it's, uh, it's super soft and smooth. Uh, and it is uh, stitched quite securely, I think double stitched actually. Yep, double stitched across, um, so as not to run when it's all said and done. Um, this is the first of the styles that I have to show you today, and I really like this one probably for Age of Sigmar. Um, I'll probably use it for a Song of Ice and Fire, because again, it does take movement trays really well. They slide really nicely across it, just like on neoprene. Um, and it was super light, just folds up, uh, can go in a drawer, it doesn't take up quite as much space as the neoprene mat. Oh, actually, I'll show you. You can see here, here's the, the folded up one. Um, this is the farmland mat, which you'll see in a second. But it folds up about the size of, oh, this is probably about the size of a, a large stack of papers. So, you know, like 10 by 12. So you can stick it in a drawer basically anywhere. It doesn't take up nearly as much space as a rolled up neoprene gaming mat does. Which is, which is saying something, because they don't take up that much space either. <laughs> um, but that's a, certainly a handy feature. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the next one, which is a farmland mat. Again, I, I couldn't find it on the site, so uh, I'm probably going to get the name wrong, but I'll link the whole site so you guys can have a look, and hopefully it'll be up there soon. And so here's the farmland mats. Um, great, again, for probably any fantasy game. But the first thing that popped into my mind, of course, was Normandy World War II. So here it is with a little 20 mil Sherman driving down the road next to an old church. Um, and you can see here it's got a variety of fields, roads, perfect set of hedgerows, trees, whatever, um, for a nice, I guess, World War II battle. Um, but would work just as well for any fancy or historical stuff too. I'll probably use it for Saga. Uh, have my Vikings raid some some farmland somewhere in England. <laughs> Go and fight some Angles. Uh, and uh, and yeah, and, and, and raid and pillage and do all that good stuff. So um, again, uh, double stitched, uh, printed on a white background. Lovely details, a variety of different sort of like crops and colors and stuff um, on here. And the same sort of like nice slidiness. So if you do want to do a fantasy game on it, it would work just as well. I played a game of A Song of Ice and Fire, actually, with my Night's Watch against some free folk on this table just recently, and it looked fantastic. So there you go. Some uh, some some World War II stuff set up there to give you an example of what it would look like. Uh, I put everything in scale. So you have another great product from a small company. Now, if you want to check out the Cigar Box Battle Mats, I will, of course, link their website in the video description below. And if you know of another product you think deserves more attention, you can have them email me at grillminiaturegames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at Out of the Basement Into the Streets. Um, and I will, of course, put it in front of as many people as possible. So we'll see you next time. Until then, I'm Ash. Out for gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future, who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.